black folks lament all the time. We want we totally support protests. We are protesters. We got a lot to protest about. But when you riot, particularly in your own community, in the past I'm talking about, why is that something that we've lamented? Because when the fire stops burning and the damage has been done and you've done it in your own community, where do you go from there? It's better not to riot. I'm not pro-riot, okay? Let me be very clear about that off the top. I'm not saying that, I but just brought that up. rioting in their yeah. own communities, black people don't own those communities. They don't own those communities. And, and this culture has been rioting against black people for hundreds of years that now. That wasn't my point. On ESPN's first take, Max Kellerman brought a lot. You had an opportunity to show up for a workout. And oh, by the way, you showed up in a Kuta Kente shirt. That's what you did for owners that you want to play for. Now, whether you like it or not, the bottom line is they're owners in the league with the ability to employ you. When you want a job, these are not things that you do. Like, who cares if he's wearing a Kunta Kinte t-shirt? Like, is, is, is the, our original sin in this country slavery, yes or no? Is that the reason that 31 of the 32 owners are white, yes or no? Because of the power structure, yes or no? Yes, of course it is. That's the very thing that, that's related to the reason Kaepernick was protesting in the first place. So, so what if he shows up with a Kunta Kinte t-shirt? From Colin Kaepernick's protest and banishment from the NFL. Ladies and gentlemen, in my hand, I have two notes, two letters. This one here, um, examination, waiver, release, and indemnification agreement. This was signed by Colin Kaepernick in 2011. His signature's right there. This is the agreement supposedly sent to him and his team. And essentially what it's doing, it's protecting the NFL from injury. That's the NFL's understanding. My understanding is it was not a standard waiver. That's Kaepernick's people's understanding. And, and by the way, if, if one of the points is that the NFL is indemnified not just from injury, but from other things, which would mean Kaepernick could not sue them or a suit could not be brought against them going forward for the way he has, he has perhaps had his rights uh, trampled or, 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 or in some way not respected by the NFL since the settlement, then this whole dog and pony show, if that's what it was, was to smuggle that in under the radar. Including Stephen A. standing up for the league while Kellerman pointed out how the NFL attempted to pull a fast one. I'm only speaking about recreational use of marijuana. I think it's abhorrent. I think it's ridiculous, and I don't support it at all in terms of the NBA legalizing it. I don't believe that a paying customer should take money out of their hard-earned take hard-earned money out of their pockets to patronize an NBA product, to walk to a game and see some dudes walking up courtside high. I don't believe that. This is not about showing up to the game high. No one is saying the players should be high when they play. Because there are examples of players who've shown up high, that's a reason to outlaw recreational use on someone's own time. It's absurd on its face. And as time has gone on, the takes from Stephen A age worse and worse. I didn't like working with him, man. It's just that damn simple. I didn't like it. You weren't an athlete and you weren't a journalist. And the, the absence of the two components left people wondering, why should we listen to you? It was like I was damn near doing the show by myself because we were oceans apart in terms of cachet. When he appeared on Joe Budden's podcast, he dissed Kellerman again. In September of 2021, fresh off Kellerman's removal from the show, Smith practically admitted he was behind the leaks that he wanted him off the show. In February 2022, he would practically make an ultimatum to the higher ups at ESPN. It's either me or Max, pick one. Thus they did. For many, Smith's discussion of the Kellerman exit has grown tiresome. This marks at least the fourth time Smith's chimed in on the subject. Now, when tweeters posted this video. What he wanted was transparency for people to see the full workout, to see the full Colin Kaepernick. Again, you, you mentioned Obviously, Max is going to get in here. And like I said, I'm in the streets. Max almost seems blacker than you, Stephen A. Eh? <laughs> with 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 what Time he with, with he's Time coming, Time you know, with his commentary. And one user proclaimed, "This was the 
final nail in the coffin. The man who made the comments, Terrell Owens, wrote above it, one word, facts. Now, as for this dude, that's an entirely different story. You know how I feel about your sorry behind, Terrell Owens, and you know why. You should thank your heavenly father, Ivan, zeroed in on you with the trifling blank you tried to pull. Tell folks to ask ESPN what your desperate blank tried to pull. Keep on talking. Eventually, you'll expose yourself, hashtag real facts. You don't want to make an enemy out of me. And I'm looking right into the camera. And I'm going to say it again. You do not want to make an enemy out of me. Now, Stephen A, ask me if I'm scared. I thank God every day, or at least I try to. But do what you do best. I'm not worried. You don't have to make some bold attempt to expose me because I have nothing to hide. You're mad because of the advice of my attorney after we filed against ESPN because on air, without my consent, you shared our text conversation. I'm not sure that constitutes as desperate, but enlighten us all. So my boy, hone in on me. I'm good. I'm blessed and God got me. You're still salty about that interview I did with you and Max a few years back and I said what I said and today I'm still hashtag team Max. Got that man fired. That's messed up. You saw me in Colorado. You should have told me about my sorry blank then. In addition, I do not believe the parameters Smith set that someone who is a regular on the show must be a journalist or an athlete has merit.